they like, changed I'm... the logo! They did? They did. It's darker. And oh. It says My Villain Academia! That's amazing. That's... Bruh, I... I... Okay. This show. Okay. Fucking okay. A. Okay. Good stuff. All right. So, 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 Gigantomachia. If you don't mind, yeah. if you don't mind, I know that we're not synced up anymore, but mm -hmm. I am going to go back and look for specific frames for reference. Um, mm -hmm. So, Gigantomachia, in the frame that I'm looking at currently, uh, he seems to be standing uh, decently ahead of Shigaraki, and he's about one to three times his height. Uh, can he stand I thought he'd right be now? bigger. I, I thought he'd be bigger. I'm almost certain there's a frame later where we see him punch Shigaraki, where his fist is like the size of Shiggy's body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he has to be able to get bigger. Again, unless this is like Steven Universe, where like his size radically changes like within the next shot. Um... Hold on, I must have passed it. I'm very set on trying to figure out what his quirks are. I think I have a pretty good idea. Uh, some kind of size amplification it has to. <sighs> it doesn't seem like it, though. I think... So I think he's got some kind of endurance quirk. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me... I don't think oh. he's necessarily willing. I don't know if he can willingly change size. I think... He absolutely can change size, but there it's either okay, it might be willing. Okay. But mm -hmm. it, it might be uh maybe Gigantamaki is supposed to be like this version this world's Hulk. Mm -hmm. Where maybe it, it has to do like his size is determinant on his emotion or maybe how invested he is in a fight. Cuz like when he was walking down the road uh during uh Kirishima's flashback, I think that might have been one of the smallest we've seen him. Okay. And so he wasn't like he wasn't like ripping raring to go there or like expecting a fight. So maybe it's like you know, the more into something he gets, the the bigger he gets. Yeah. I can Jesus say that. Christ. Maybe that isn't one of his quirks. And they said that he was naturally <laughs> tough. Mm hmm yeah. But he, I think he's got like some kind of hardening quirk, but it's it like seems like he has like a hardened carapace. Uh, yeah, added, like so... rocks on his body. We didn't we say like one of his uh, abilities, or like he might be like Doomsday from like. The... Yeah, so because he's got like the spikes on his back, so yeah. maybe he can grow those. My thing, because I have ideas, but the one that I'm set on is I think that he's got like a, like a, like a. His nerves don't take in pain. They don't receive pain anymore. So, like, I think I think okay. he's straight up like Ajax from Deadpool. I don't think he can feel any pain, because if he was, that would make him like the ultimate tank, right? Uh, but, we haven't seen him damaged, so we have no idea if he's got regenerative abilities. So, so uh, they said that, so I think he's got some kind of endurance quirk, because he went for, what, three hours or two days straight? He fights nonstop and then sleeps for three hours. That's insane. Um, I think it's just as insane because Shiggy does the same thing. Because Shiggy doesn't take breaks. He's, he does. He, he can't. Yeah. Shiggy's out on that grind every day. All right. Shiggy's getting. And, it. <laughs> and um, it seems like he's got like a a tracking quirk, kind of like Beast, where his senses are like really, really heightened, because they were like, oh, now, no matter now, where we go, it, he finds us. Yeah, is that due to like enhanced senses? Like, he's just got shitty... Down? It might be. Or is it... Cause, cause it might be like an actual this quirk. Is, this is before the surgery, the procedure that we mm -hmm. saw with Shiggy going on with the doctor. Um, yeah. And that that's Dr. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Ujiko. <laughs> Um, Domura Ujiko. Um, so, so he hasn't had that happen, but there may be still something intrinsically unique about Shigaraki that Makia can <clears throat> cling onto. Because we know, we know that All for One hid Gigantamakia out here like, <laughs> very quickly after picking up 
Shigaraki. Shigaraki, yeah. Which also means that uh, Gigantamachia has just been out here for at a minimum like 15 years. Or like at a minimum of 10 years. Because mm-hmm. Shigaraki, he's young. He's like in his early 20s. Um, and he in that flashback, he looked to be anywhere from like, I'd say 7 to 10, 11. Yeah. So my curious the thing that I am understanding about or I'm curious about is Gigantamachia can handle multiple quirks and he was never like fucked with. That's why all for one took him in because his body is able because body has can hold more than one quirk. Isn't that what he said? Considering how old he is, do you think he might be like the one of the original templates for the Nomu design? I don't know. That was something that. I know we talked I, about it. Um, yeah, I, I, I had said, was Gigantamachia the first Nomu? I think if Gigantamachia would have been like the first Nomu. Maybe like, because he was probably like, oh, the first being that we found that has been able to handle more than one quirks. Maybe something like this is possible. Or like maybe um, his like constitution is so high that he can handle it. Because, like, and also, still speaking to all the League's characters, I'm going to get into that. um, I really uh, enjoyed the League in this. Just this episode, this one episode. But uh, Shigaraki is still referring to things as if they're a video game. Mm -hmm. He's like, nah, he's just got too much HP. He's a boss that, like, you know, it's like in D&D, where it's like, nah, we can hit this. His armor class is low. But But he's just got so much hit points. He's just a fucking, he's a damage sponge all the eight like he's got ten thousand hit points like if mm-hmm. we only do you know 2d6 plus five damage each round mm-hmm. so if we bring him to an area where there's a lot more player characters so this does bring up a lot of questions about what the relationship is supposed to be between Li- love and milf because it's like we thought they're working together but is he gonna actually use Gigantamachia against the army of 100,000 from the mill? So, no, but here's here's why I was bringing that up. So, we've only ever heard of it as 100,000. Now, somebody in this, I can't remember exactly who, it might be, was it Reed Destro who said it? But they, mm-hmm. they specifically say 110,000 at one point. Not just even giving off the full number, but he goes 100, 110,000 people. No, but he's also the guy that says the 116,000. That doesn't change anything, though. Mm-hmm. So, you think he's throwing him off? No, 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 no. Because that was this is two months ago. <laughs> so what happened to those other ten thousand people? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, we still got Daika City to go through. <laughs> oh my God! What if what if they take a hit to their numbers? <laughs> Like, fucking, they show up and they're like, you know, the, the fucking Ultron thing from Age of Ultron. He's like, mm-hmm. all of you versus all of me. All of me. And fucking Hulk comes in and poof, 10,000 of them. It's fucking. Yeah, so maybe that's what this is. Uh, but no, but in Where a serious it's, sense, in a serious No, maybe sense. maybe it's like so Milf is obviously trying to control love or get rid of them. And love is taking it back to them. And if they honestly did destroy the army that they had with Gigantamachia, they would completely bend him uh, Milf to their will. But I it's mean, like we still don't necessarily know all of Milf's uh, motivations. Mm-hmm. So like like with the whole Destro Redestro thing, like is Redestro taking that name because he genuinely? Like, I am. I think so. I am Destro reborn, or I am. I am. I am his will made flesh, or something like that. I mean, he or was. Is it more like a. Oh, talk, he was. Oh, I'm. I'm Redestro. I bring his word, and like, please follow me. Be my. Friend. Oh, you think it's a prank? Well, I'm just saying it could or be a facade. It could be either. We don't know. It could be a facade. He's just using it as a way to bring followers, you know, believers to the cause. Or he could genuinely believe it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we don't necessarily know their motivations yet. Um, True. We do know that 
not only do they have resources, but they have a hostage now being, uh... Girin. Girin. Or is it Girin? Girin. Girin? <laughs> Girin, yeah. Girin. Girin. Um, and, uh... I, I fucking love how Twice is immediately, like, defensive, protective of him. Mm-hmm. And which, which makes sense. I mean, Twice, we've talked about this before, but Twice is probably the most empathetic of the of the league of villains he's, mm-hmm. he's absolutely he he cares deeply about the members on it he's like the only i don't want to say normal person but or a good person because like he's still a villain and he does a lot of bad stuff but he's still a, a you good guy like, you feel like if you re- you could get him help yeah yeah like absolutely he's someone who you could help um but like and to top it all off He's, you can easily, like, it would be completely understandable if you, if he blamed himself for Big Sis Maggie's death. Yeah. I mean, he does. From what I remember from the Shia Hasaikai arc. Like, he was like, I'm the one who brought Overhaul to our place. I'm the reason Magni's dead. Like, that's, like, he, that's why one of the reasons why he was so against, like, uh, being signed under, uh, uh, Chisaki, Overhaul. <laughs> Um, so having another member in a situation now, to be fair, this time it isn't his fault. Um, but still, if you're going to breathe, you got to make sure you're not exhaling into the microphone. My guy, I'm not, I can't even keep track of, I can't even hear my breathing right now. Am I breathing? Yeah, you can hear it pretty good. (laughs) Are you sure about that? I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm really liking the characterization of Twice here. Um, I appreciate Toga. how um, I am. Yeah, I do appreciate how Toga and Spinner had a conversation about it. How Spinner was all like, "Hey, how what are we doing that? here?" Because he was like, "What are we doing here?" Bro, I might There's... have to move Spinner out of Native just from that conversation alone. Like, <laughs> but it's interesting Toga's reasoning now. She's doing it all for love. She's like, "I love Izuku, but I also love Ochako, but I also love Nen, and I also love Stain." And it's like, she's doing all of this for love because she she loves all these people. She loves being. And she's like, being oh, this is people. Um. And so just. One, just seeing Spinner without his mask on was... Well, that was I thought he looked like a teenager. He looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's what he looks yeah. Like. But, like, bit. still, I, I want more dialogue from Spinner now. I really do. Cause, We're going to get more of him. Because, like, we've kind of been seeing this uh, very very briefly, but we've been seeing this as the se- series goes on. Like, uh, when they went and... Um, when they went and attacked uh, Overhaul's... Uh, like ambulance and police escort um, mm-hmm. after the after the Shia Saikai uh, uh, arc, um, and Spinner's driving. He's like, "Is this is attacking the police? Is that really what Stain would do?" Ideal. And Shigaraki's like, "Yo, yo, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet." And mm-hmm. so, and but the, the the interesting thing is, is that he's still here. What's what's keeping him here? Like, if he is, if he's like, there's no, there's there's no stain here. If there was any at all, it's not here anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, so, so why is he staying? I, I want more. I can't believe I'm saying. I want more Spinner. Like, <laughs> and I'm not talking about like, oh, I just want to see his quirk and all that. I want to see, I want to see him. I just want to mm-hmm. see. I want him to have a conversation with Shigaraki. That's yeah. what I want. Um, and do you think that Shigaraki would force him to stay in once he realizes like that this has nothing to do with? stain anymore or do you think that shigaraki doesn't value him enough i don't know because because we still don't know what he can do so we don't know what he brings to the team it's interesting because toga is only interested in creating a world where she can do what she wants which is Mm -hmm. why which is why when shigaraki is like you know telling uh ujiko what his plan is She's like, yo, 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 are you sh- like, what about the stuff that I want? Was sh- the stuff that I want or the stuff that I want gone? Uh, but either way, he's like, yo, people, you know, people in my clique, they get what they want, yo. It's like, <laughs> he's like, don't, 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 don't worry, homie. Like, I got you. You, you part of, you got part you, of the inner circle, dog. Like, yeah. <laughs> you got, and, 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 you know, I believe him. I believe mm-hmm. Shigaraki when he says that. I don't think it's going to be like Lex Luthor. He's like, yes, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? 
Like, <laughs> yeah, sure, you can have fucking the crap of his head. Oh, <laughs> sure, sure. Like when he says, you know, you'll you'll get your cut of the pie. I believe Shigaraki when he says that. Speaking of Shigaraki, we murdered his family. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to that. Um. So we saw all for one picking him up in an alleyway, and we we. No, but we did get like a little bit of him, like in his elementary school days, we, when? and how I think it was like back in season two or season three. Um, it was when they were like, it's when they were talking to him about like how he's a man child, because how he never like really grew up, because he didn't go into school and stuff. I, maybe they talked about like his previous records, but I don't think we ever got a flashback from it. Like we never. No, we did. We it. did get a. We did get a brief flashback. Well, then I'll have, to, I'll have of to him in it. elementary school. Yeah. Um. It was. It was when they were talking about it, like his mindset. Now he's got that man-child mindset. Still. He never received proper court counseling, which makes yeah. fucking sense. So, so he's he's like Aerie. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a mutation. His quirk is different than the rest of the family. Um. Which fuck me? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You have no idea how your power works at this point. You have no idea how to control it. You know, I've no idea what it's doing. Can you imagine his? What are the requisites? What are the what are the, the requisites for his quirk to work? He has to touch someone. He has to touch somebody. He's like imagine, child. like, like just imagine, like he's hugging his mom, and exactly. then suddenly she just. Shh. The, no wonder. No wonder Shigaraki is the way he is. And then you have all for one just fucking playing with him. Mm-hmm. Fuck. He's wearing the actual fucking hands of, of his, his family. Fucking family. family members. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And like just seeing little little Urzner. little Tanko, little Tanko Shimura fucking like it looked like he was about to fucking vomit. He did. When all for one was like, "Yeah, no, bro, you fucking eighty-six, your family dog." <laughs> <laughs> no, he he did throw. <laughs> <High five. laughs> good, bro. You do, seriously, bro, you got like a fucking AC one thirty kill streak, dog. Oh, uh, like it's Jesus. crazy. Fuck and like, so that's 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 not a Shimura's son or daughter dead as well oh yeah so if if, because she's his aunt right grandmother grandmother okay nanashimura is uh, shigaraki's Mm -hmm. grandmother so and which is kind of funny or i guess ironic if you think about it because the reason why nana gave up her son or daughter um is was to keep them safe from from potential villains trying to get back at Nana herself. That would also mean that because there was more than two sets of hands, so that means that her great grandchildren would be probably dead as well. Well, I think we did see a little girl in the little shattering image thing. Because did Shigaraki have any siblings? Must have, because there was more than four hands. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't just a, a husband and a wife. Yeah, so, a nuclear family? Hmm. Like, if I can, let's Because it looks like, how many hands are there? Because he has three on his arms, two around his neck, and one on his face, if I'm correct. Oh, before we continue, I love how Dobby got fucking shit mixed and then was like, I'm leaving. (laughs) I'm going to go play with my bird friend. (laughs) (laughs) I love how Toga brought it up, too. He's like, I'm leaving, and Toga's all like, oh, you're just leaving because your quirk didn't do anything? And he's like, fuck you, Toga. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, fucking Tommy's an incel. Right, uh, <laughs> so let's see, we've got, he's got one on the back of his head and one on his face. So let's say that's one set. He uh, has two around his neck. Two around his neck, so that's two sets. Three, uh, two on his shoulders, three. Two on under his armpits, four. Two on his biceps. Five. See if I can get a. <laughs> it seems like uh, get a full body shot of. 
Right. I literally just, I was trying to look for Shigaraki, and I literally just clicked on a frame of Gigantomachia, and the, the subtitles literally, his body gets bigger during combat. Oh, so we just missed that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, the, it's, the time play. is... 1406. The time is 1406. Uh, he has then two on his elbows and two right above the wrist. So that's, so that's six. Seven. So one on his head, one on his face, two on his shoulders. Uh, oh wait, no, the ar- these are the armpit ones are gone in this frame, I think. So let's say six. Let's say six. Six sets of hands. Mm-hmm. So mom, dad. Uh, let's say two siblings and then uh, grand, maybe grandpa okay grandma yeah so on opposite side of the family one two or maybe three, one, grandpa because Nana had to have been dead by this point so and she purposely stayed away so three four five yeah so it's six so mom, dad, you want to say one or two siblings? I think two siblings is two more siblings. than likely. It's safe to say. And then, um, and then grandpa, grandma? Maybe. But when... He's yeah. got two parents. Because Nana was great-grandma, right? Well, ma- ma- Nana was grandma, but A, she was likely dead at this point, and B, if... If... If, uh... Nana is Shigaraki's grandmother on his father's side, then Mm -hmm. grandma and grandpa could be mom's parents. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. Yeah. He can have two sets of grandparents. It might be a different grandma. Yeah, I was going to say it could be a different set of grandparents. Or, I guess, aunt or uncle, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, But... Cousin? Uh, that's, That's still fucked up. That's, uh... That's what, uh, attack chopper? What? <laughs> no, but what? an attack chopper? Six. Oh. I don't think it's quite an attack chopper yet. Nah, not quite. Maybe a support helicopter. Uh, but, all right, so absolutely just 86 to his family. Mm hmm. Is that all I have? Shaky Murder's family. Where's the hands? Garen, Redestro. That's all I've got. Um. So. Redestro. I mm-hmm. thought. That. The reason. Oh, I thought uh, Destro was from like a lot longer ago. Mm hmm. So. Like, cause I know you, th- you said that he might, like, this might be like older Redestro. Yeah. Or because when older, we were when, me, just older Destro. When we, when we had doing the list, they both kind of had like the same, like splotchy mask. So I'm like, oh, they, that they must be similar. The mask um, thing might just be him emulating Destro. Cause the mask is probably, it'd be the easiest thing to do. Um, mm-hmm. Mm, it's hard to. <sighs> Fucking like okay, his... okay. Uh, mm. Another thing. So one, Uchiko has like a little dog Nomu. Oh yeah, that that looks can, like a duck. That can fucking. What what do you call it? Johnny. People. So that's the that's the Nomu that's that saves transporting people. That you know got Dobby out of there when. Uh... That's what we saw in Heroes uh, Heroes Rising. We have as a, well. okay in this shot we have eight high ends. Let's see if I can get another shot. Oh, and they're layered too. It's not. Yeah, I told you row. that, dude. I told you that. I said that that was all just in the first row. You said, "Oh, there's 14 Nomus," and I'm like, "Oh, that that's all just in the first row." Oh, that one's got hair. Jesus. Christ. Christ. 
I see two rows of uh, no moves. Bro, Uchiko, clean up your fucking station. Jesus. Okay. So he says that he's gonna give you give them power. Shigaraki power. Yeah. So is all this... for one left power for him. Is Which this... he was referring to as Gigantamachia, but I think he also means the... quirks. Yeah, but like is that also including the Nomu themselves? Like, is he not going to give them the Nomu until he's like, nah, all right, you've reached the bar. Yeah, he has to... There was something else I wanted So, to would you consider this a victory for you, considering how you're like, oh, they have to tame him? I don't know. I can't remember how I phrased it, but it doesn't... It doesn't... I don't feel like I'm right. I honestly wouldn't, because the way you had put it was that it was like, oh, I'm loyal to him. Prove that, prove yourself to me. Yeah. That it, you're worthy of being my like master. In his That's choice. Like, I, I will follow you if you prove to me. Like, this one is just like, ah, fuck you. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not. So, while the end goal may still be like the same, like, Gigantomachia is still only, Gigantomachia is only loyal to all for one. Yeah, it's not his. It's not Machia's test. It's Shigaraki's test. Machia is the subject. Mm -hmm. like, like, well, Shigaraki's the test subject, I guess. But, like, the way I phrased it, I had it like Machia was like, no, 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 I'm not going to follow you unless you prove it to me. Mm -hmm. Machia is not the one who needs the proof. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to give myself the points. I'm not going to take any away. I think I was close, which, mm -hmm. which is a clause of ours. But uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna give myself any points. Um, okay, that's fair. Uh, I will say that this is a villain arc. <laughs> Considering that... they, ch they changed the fucking logo. Yeah, so you can get you can give yourself points for that. I mean, a lot of people in the comments that were commenting our videos are also basically like kind of confirming it for us because they were like, "Oh, wait, can't wait." for you guys to get to my villain academia and stuff like that and it's no, like I, I never saw any any my villain academia like full out but i did see i i there I was a lot of talk of villain days. arcs there was a lot of talk of villain arcs in our and, comments and, and at first i was because you know I, I i we hadn't one we hadn't introduced the uh the the spoiler system yet mm -hmm. um, and, and did i say one or a and, and two b uh, <laughs> <laughs> um you know, I, I didn't I didn't see any red flags initially, so I was like, oh, MVA, what's that? And, well, I didn't get it at first. It didn't take me too long to, like, yeah. like make a few guesses. Uh, but I think I think you deserve points for that, because you... Was that in your prediction? Yes. Um, that you were going to have a villain arc? A villain arc, yes. I, I specifically chose that, because I thought you two wouldn't, and I wanted to make sure that we had... Uh, a solid wild card. Yeah, a wild card. Variety of, of, of predictions. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I figured since we all talk about it so much together, we would all kind of you know, just stick to the same stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, try, I tried to branch out. And then with the rest of my predictions, I was like, well, what if we got a villain arc? What would happen? <gasps> Ooh, this would be cool. And I kind of just <laughs> had a little fun with that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty fucking happy. This is... This, this is was... And the in the beginning of the episode also opened up with Shigaraki's operation again. Yes, it did. Um, so, so I think it's you know pertinent to bring it up with mm -hmm. the arc shift. I feel like we're already gonna lose a fair amount of a fair amount of tension with this upcoming arc. Whether or not mm -hmm. they, whether or not they truly come to blows between love and milf, uh, because we know nobody's gonna die, at no. least not a nobody in love. Uh, there are a few people on milf side who we haven't seen in like the present time, mm -hmm. so they could die, but nobody of love. That okay, maybe I guess we could lose Giri, but. Um, Nobody from love is 
going to die. Gonna die. So no. that, that's, that might lower some tension there. Um, now, we don't know if any of them are actually quirkless, though. True. Now, Love is the That'd one who controls the quirk-destroying bullets. But maybe they lose uh, advantage over that. So there is still a, you know, or maybe they just get, you know, damaged to the point where they're no longer active field combatants. Yeah. And, you know, they're just, like, facing. I'd imagine uh, Reed Destro has some, some quirk. He has to. Well, I mean, st like, statistically speaking, there's a yeah. chance he has a quirk. It's just kind of whether or not he has, you know, like, a good useful. one. A strong one, yeah. But I'm willing to bet he does. I'm more than willing, actually, yeah. uh, to bet that he does. It's just we kind of have nothing to go on in terms of what that could yeah, be. Yeah, not even, like, his physical appearance. Like, if anything, if you're basing off his physical appearance, it's like, oh, he can elongate his, his nose. facial or just, like, his bodily features. But it's like, oh, that's it. All right, uh, let's let's go by uh, Hunter x Hunter here. Do you uh, just mm -hmm. break... Super, super basic. Do you think he's going to be, like an emitter type quirk where he produces something or do you think he's going to be like an enhancement type quirk where he like changes and boosts physical aspects of himself because there's three different kinds of quirks right there's transformation mutation and, and emitter, emitter right yeah. So, yeah it's well he's not a mutation so that we already can count that out <sighs> Well, I mean, we don't know. I think though. he's... I think he's got an... Of some kind. Oh, uh, what? You can't cut that. And I, I think he's got an enhancement quirk of some kind. I don't think he has an emitter quirk. I think his can be enhancement. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what it would be, though. I mean, well, I, we're not kind of... We're not here to predict what it is, because we have nothing to go on. More of just... <laughs> The category. Yeah. Um. Wait, do you say the same thing? Uh, and you you said emitter. No. Enhancement. Enhancement. Yeah. Uh, and tra for the transformation. Sake of argument, I'll say emitter then. No. Oh, okay, that's fair. I'm okay with that. If so you want to be wrong, that's fine. For, they've been fighting for a month and a half. Shigaraki nonstop. Yeah, he can't sleep. So we just immediately fast tracked basically our training arc. So where where are our heroes at? And at what point in time are are they at? Oh hell! Right right in this right in this fucking frame I have on screen. I'm because they like, they haven't. And Shigaraki's saying I'm a, I'm a lot closer compared to when we started. Because they're not at Daika City yet, but they haven't mentioned Daika City like to the students or anything like that or like well no, it hasn't popped up on the news daika city's public uh information uh oh, okay daika city was two weeks before um i think christmas okay so it was after 1a versus 1b but before the endeavor arc yes i'm pretty sure or it might have been like during the 1A, 1B. Well, 1A versus 1B was just a singular day. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, that's right. So, we're well before the Endeavor stuff. <laughs> um, and Hawks is not under super uh, surveillance of by MILF yet, I would, I would yeah. assume. Because it seems like Dobby and him are just about to start their little interactions. Um, but I am, I'm fucking hyped as shit for mm -hmm. this next stuff. I still, I still can't fucking believe we got Machia. It feels weird. It's like we had so many stingers of him and now we finally got like almost an entire episode dedicated to him. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you know, you're walking through the desert and every now and then someone offers you like one of those little like, you know, like medicine, like plastic little you know, three teaspoon cups. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, whatever, and of water. 
you get you through, and then all of a sudden they just fucking like Super Bowl victory, like Gatorade jug you out of nowhere, and mm-hmm. just, like, it like fucking shocks you. And it's just, exactly. Like, this is what I wanted, but like, could you guys have eased me into this shit a little bit? <laughs> like, and it was the first one. They knew. They fucking knew. They absolutely knew. Especially because th- if there was no arc shit, <laughs> if there was no arc switch, uh, the arc got- shit. The arc shit. <laughs> Iron Man's arc <laughs> shit reactor. Um, if there was no arc switch, we would have gotten this a while ago, months ago, <laughs> or at least a month ago. Wow, at a minimum. So they knew. It's so weird to think about. Though they fucking knew. Um, These fuckers are playing us like a fiddle. This yeah. ain't okay. <sighs> I, I keep feeling like I'm missing something. Like there was something I wanted to talk no, about. We had the doc. We had so we had the, the, the doctor. We had Gigantomachia. Oh, um, everyone in the group. It absolutely Destro. is confirmed that it was. It, it's absolutely uh, a reference to gorillas. That guy. He referred to him as a gorilla. No, 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 not not Shigaraki to Gigantamaki. I'm talking about fucking uh, the guy who has the satellite. FGI. Feel yeah, good feel ink. good, Cooper. Mm-hmm. Feel good, Inc. That's the name of the song by Gorillas. <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Windmill from the land. Oh yeah, my god. So yeah, it is absolutely a fucking reference to gorilla. I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> Um, also, one more thing. I have officially hopped on the train of that the doctor from the very beginning of the show is this doctor. Yeah, I think so. Because it, it makes they, sense. He, they literally have, like, the mustache has changed. It's wild. But, like, same bald head, mm-hmm. same height, size. They literally have the exact same goggles. Like, you can't convince me otherwise. And it's the same doctor. It completely makes sense. You know, like, you're just a regular family friendly physician. Like, no mm-hmm. suspicion here. Uh, Working at a hospital. So we also have the Hearts and Mind Party. So that, what? that sounds like a political thing. Wait, what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the, the, the MILF members. Yeah. Uh, so the Hearts and Mind Party. So that's, that sounds like something kind of more like political. For generations, the hearts and mind party. Yeah, that's definitely a political thing. It was a girl. No, it doesn't seem like. Well, I'm sure she's Revolution. Something. Well, Revolution Club is what they're referring to. Okay, that's what yeah. Calls, yeah. Yeah. Calls MILF. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's we have any context clues to go off of for she uh, might be just like the blue chick the um like in charge of information like because she's like holding the book and stuff and maybe making sure could she be a publisher? yeah mm-hmm. like the face of the company well, I, it's multiple companies or multiple things because we have or we have, like we, have, the... we have or is it I guess. We don't know. We, don't we know. do not know. Because we don't is, know what MILF is. Is Reed Destro uh, the president of Feel Good Inc? We don't know shit, man. Because then we also still have um. Uh, what's the other company that uh, makes Det- the Det- 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 Detronet? Detronet. Yeah. God, if we haven't but seen what is... anything from Detronet. No, not that. since not. Mm. That was fucking. Jesus Christ. <sighs> this is crazy. Uh, They've got everything. That was like, what is Feels Good Inc.? Like, why do they have a satellite? What do they do? That was episode 12 when we learned about... That was eight episodes ago. That's when we learned about Detronet. Mm. Uh, you were saying Feel Good Inc.? Yeah, like, what do they do? Like, why does... Why do they have a satellite? Like, what does their company do to warrant them having a satellite? Like, how many how many companies do you think own fucking satellites? I'm sure Bezos has, like, a few personal ones. Like, uh, 
But I, I think that's going to be it. I think that's going to yeah. be it for us. Uh, what a crazy episode. It, it, it does feel like the pacing has just absolutely skyrocketed. Like, mm -hmm. Thank God. I have no idea how many issues, like, this span of content was. But, like, like the Endeavor dinner was, like, an episode and a half. Mm -hmm. In this, we were, like... Boom! Here, yeah, yeah. Here's here's the fucking. Here's a month worth of here's the operation. Content. Uh, here's that what happened last time with when uh, Kurogiri last talked to Shigaraki. Oh, uh, here's Gigantomachia. Uh, here's fighting Gigantomachia. Uh, here's a Nomu that can teleport him. Uh, te teleport here's him. Uh, here's MILF army. Here's the here's the MILF. Ujiko. Oh, uh, here's high ends. Uh, here's you know here's some Shigaraki backstory. Here's you know you know insight into the league. Here's Freaking uh, MILF stuff. Here's uh, Gearin losing fingers. You're like. Dyka City. Dyka City. And they were just boom, 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 boom. So. It, well, they had to. Because there's only what? Like five more episodes left? I'm not sure. Which I guess they could probably wrap this up pretty quick if they just get Maki to just <laughs> steamroll the city. Yeah. yeah, I think that's going to be it for us. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we've been the Custodians. I'm Rhett. And I'm Gabe. And uh, one more time, please like, comment, subscribe, follow us on social media. Links are in the description. Yada, yada, yada. Have a good one and plus ultra.